What is the integral between 0 and 1 of 1 over x dx? So from what we can tell, this lo seemingly looks like a uh, simple integral to solve. But the uh, problem with this specific setup is that it's between 0 and 1. So if you were to plug in 0, it would be no solution since it's 1 over 0. So we're going to have to apply a special property of improper integration in which we take the limit as, say, n approaches uh, 0 of the integral. Now, before we uh, continue moving on with this integral, we need to address one more thing. So it's technically not approaching 0 from both sides. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a problem. This wouldn't be a uh, you know divergent case. So if we analyze the graph of 1 over x, we can see that it essentially looks like this, where you have an asymptote vertically up here where it goes to infinity, right? So which side does it approach zero from, assuming we're looking at the top right quadrant? Well, as you follow this graph, you can see that it's actually approaching it from the plus side, because if it were approaching it from the negative side, it would be like that. So in this case, we got to assume that it's limit of n approaching zero from the plus side. So now that we have that settled, we can actually now be allowed to take the integration. So now this equals, uh, let's just do the integral straight up now. Uh, this would be the limit of n approaching 0 from the plus side of, as we know, the integral of 1 over x is just simply ln x, absolute value of x. And this will be between, again, n and 1. Remember, n representing 0 from the plus side. So all we got to do now is a little bit of uh, plugging the numbers. We write again, limit of n approaching 0 from the plus side. And now as we uh, plug in 1, we get ln of 1 on the plus side, so ln 1. And we subtract that by ln absolute value of n. Now, uh, let's do the first part. ln of 1, as we know, is 0. And here's where things get a little tricky. Let me rewrite that one more time. So limit as n approaches 0 from the plus side. It will be of negative ln absolute value of n. So essentially, we're plugging in 0 to an ln uh, you know, variable. Can you take the ln of 0? No, you can't. Because if you look at the graph of ln x, it looks something like that, right? Where it approaches uh, negative infinity on the 0 side, assuming this is you know, 0. It can never touch 0. Therefore, this integration in of itself is improbable. It is divergent in meaning that it does not converge to a single number. It is no solution. So we can write no solution, comma, divergent. And that actually is our answer. It cannot go to a number simply because it, it just can't approach zero from that side. It's asymptotic. So that's why a lot of Calc 2 teachers uh, give this question out because they expect the student to automatically plug in zero, you know, and, and then they get lost. So you got to make sure to take the limit and, uh, think you know algebraically how you approach the graph so yeah in conclusion the integral of 1 over x dx between 0 and 1 is actually divergent there is no solution i hope this made sense to you if you have any questions uh put in the comments below and good luck